Okay. Welcome, everyone. This is the Buddhist Medicine and Yoga podcast. We have one of our favorite guests, Rajwa Vajracharya. Rajwa, thank you so much for joining us again. Yeah, that's a great, great to join always. So, thank you for inviting. So, yeah. So, Rajwa, we, it was just celebrated the 15 year anniversary of the temple there in Portland. Can you tell us a little bit about the 15 years of teaching and the celebration and just a little bit about the history to start? Yeah, the Nitimandal Mahabhyara or Dance Mandal Temple here, we built it into the you know, 1909 to 2009. So, and since this 2009, we've been practicing the Dharma, also doing the rituals and awakening the Buddhas and closings and opening ceremonies. That's what we've been doing. And every year as we do the uh, like the anniversaries, uh, celebrations with the library celebrations. So we have a uh, mornings with a big library ritual. So this times we did, uh, you know, we have also the students joining for the Guru Mandala Puja. We did a uh, uh, nine people's Guru Mandala Puja. Then I did a fire ritual Puja. And then after that, we have also the Bertolands offerings, 108 Bertolands offerings and 108 time refuse dances happening, then bhajans and then then dance performance. All my students dance performance from the different part of the world always international dance performance. So, so our new world Buddhist traditions, you know, means if you give the established uh, statues and paintings or the consecrated statue, then you need to be uh, continues to be a uh, awakening things like at the you know it's like at the body you know when you have a give the birth to a baby it's a birth to the, we are here so we need to feed a little bit every day so same kind of concept like that when we establish in you know so we've been doing continuous every day chanting every day awakening puja and then closing puja which we call already and then and uh, during the period of the times, like uh, the 15 years have been teachings and the dance and, you know, music and singing, you know, all different things happening. Also, we have a, you know, dharani practice and sadhana practice and uh, uh, the, also the Namo Sangiti every full moons and you know, singing practice. So we continuous practice. And beside that, I teach lots of different things in part of the New Buddhist tradition. So, yeah, it's been Continues running that, I can say, yeah. Our, today's topic is on the Pancha Tathagata Kula, or the five Buddha families, or the five wisdom Buddhas. I know that's a central part of Newari Buddhism. And yeah. many of us have learned so much about the five Buddha families, but also find it difficult to integrate it into our life. And one way is dance or sadhana. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what are these five Buddhas, Dhyani Buddhas? How do they relate to uh, Charya, Nirtya as well, and life in general? How, if we can start this conversation. Yeah, simp simple way of five Buddhas, like that, you know, these are the Buddhas which are before the Sakyamuni Buddha, according to the New Buddhist history. So, you know, we have a Kokutsana Buddha, Kishiki Buddha, Bishabu Buddha, Kokutsana Buddha, Kanakamuni Buddha, then come with the Sakyamuni Buddha. According to tradition, we have seven Buddhas. But those the five Buddhas, the Hanim Buddhas, like a give like a, you know, what we can learn as a human being. And how can be the perfect human beings? So then some people say like, you know, this is like a directions, like the, you know, compass. The five Buddhas is like a compass. You know, in the top in the mountain, they build the stupa and the five Buddhas, we keep it there. And then so they never be mistake what direction you are going, which direction is what direction, you know, east, west, north, south. And then the other part, like the five Buddhas, like the every human nature, have a the Buddha nature, even like a, your angers, if you get a hatred, you get a jealousy, you get a pride, you get a, you know, every uh, bad aspect, like the anything's the negative part, it's a part of the Buddha nature. So, but the idea is like a, if you get anger, if you get a, the sad and uh, unhappy, you know, just to recognize that, like in a second, you recognize that why I'm unhappy. You know, what make you unhappy? Then it's making transformation. So Buddha nature in the five Buddhas families and the five Buddha kulas, they brought this way so you can easily connect it to the, uh, you can satisfy yourself who you are. 
and the other side. Other side, like the, you can recognize yourself like a, who you are in the Buddha nature, which Buddha nature you have. And then once you have a recognize which you are in the Buddha nature, then that particular Buddha nature have a always antidote, which is means like a, you know, they have a jealousy, pride, anger, you know, those are the negative part. You have that something connection with this. So if you recognize that way, and it's just flop the coins and making transformations. And beside that also, they also have a, like a five Buddhas have also these vehicle they use. You know, Buddha doesn't need a vehicle, but this is the wisdom teachings, wisdom sharing, what that they usually use for like, a, okay, you know, centered, centered is like, a, you know, lions with the Bairochan is in the white in colors. And then why the lions in the center? Because when you come to the world, you look like a, you know, lion, like you have a, so much power, you know, like my baby, you know, only five months old, you know, he have a, so much power, like a, anything he needed, he does not comfortable, he will shout it. He's not to eat, he's, he's hungry, he shout it. He's, he needs to sleep, he just cry. You know, when you think about that way, and also the, the center part, like the, you know, lions, it has been there like the, you are center of the all everybody. And then other Buddhas like the, okay, there is lots of things there, you know, lots of things around with you. So idea of being a center part in the, in the, Bhairochana, which is Bhairochana is also considered that like a, you know, it basically, they you know what to call that as. It's wisdoms in the other part, other part is ignorance in that other part. So the ignorance like the, you, you try to control everybody, you are trying to be in the center of everybody, you know, but in a natural, you know, human history is like, a, oh, it is like a dictator, you know, I mean, keeping in the center with this, it's not going to work in the reality. So in a, in a, in the other part, like that, okay, you have a, some, uh, you need to be more like a, the wisdom and clarity you need it in that part. And the other part, like the white in color, so white in colors in the Newar tradition represents as the uh, water element. So in the Newar, in the Tibetan, sometimes can exchange, they saw like uh, blue and white, it be exchange. But Newar is like the white is always the water. So those type of person who is in the, they call the Buddha family, Buddha family is like the, which is can be knowledge for everything. They have because in the center of everybody's. So those persons who try to collect all the information, all the knowledge and everything, and also the making balance with them, they are friends with everybody. So not, they're never creating the enemies in there. Because when you think about the water element, water is like if you keep any different pot in the water, it's making balancing out. So they're making balance in the proper way. So that's the, the other regions like that. It's have a lots of uh, in, inside like uh, the balancing everything and uh, making LYT, making friendship. You seems like that uh, he's no everything, act like everything. But when you come to the point of the Dharma practice, like, uh, uh, you know, knowing everything means like uh, you don't go with a particular practice and, uh, you know, grounding into deeper into one thing. So that's what's in the book. The, uh, Bairusana family is like a, he's, you know, in English way, they say like a jack of all, what do you call that? The jack of all, something they call. So those kind of type of people, it's in the Bairusana families. So, so that's, and also, then it's come like a, those animal, like a, how they made it that way. So then it come with the Achobe Buddha, Achobe coming to the east, east coming with the, the uh, elephants, elephant is the blue in the color, blue in the nature. So when you come to the Achobe Buddha, Achobe Buddha right with the elephant. Elephant nature, like a, once you enter the center, when you get out from the center, you got a fear. Like a, when you come to a baby, when you start growing up a little bit, like a parent saying that don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, make you interfere with the everything, you know. So as the, the, as the Buddha nature is like that, what is a fear for? You know, the elephant they gave you that way. So go, your destination is clear. Your path is clear. Move forward with your destinations. Don't worry about the tigers and lions who ever come to get you. Your destination is clear. Move forward, then fearless. 
that's a connect, connected. So, so if you have a fearless and a strong like that, and then blue is a sky. Sky is infinite. Come, comes like a, who have a love with the, the those people type of people like a, who is going to the jungles and a relax and meditative type. You know those type of people who's connected to the nature or connect to basically you know, who want to have a quietness. They don't talk that much. You know. Elephant doesn't talk, they do work basically. So those type of people who is into the uh, Achyabhi Buddha family, they call the Bajra family, they consider the Bajra family. So those type of people who is, is uh, and then wisdoms, okay, okay, the first one is like a completely understanding reality. They called the, uh, they connected to the uh, wisdom part. They, they, you know those first first type of people with the Bhairochana were try to get understanding, try to even they try so hard to get all everything. They don't get it because they they are in so many different plate. You know that. So those Achyabhi Buddha Achyabhi Buddha type of people's more into like a Bajrafeni grounding. They just want to be ground into the one one place. You know. It's a stay in a mirror, and then they reflect with their own, like the mirror. They call the mirror like the the reflections. Anything it is, what it does, it's a reflect on the, on themselves. So those are the type of people who is very much into the quiet and uh, learning a lot of things from the inner quietness inside. They have a incredible minds they, they set up in that way so and then those people the type of which is uh, always in anger like that anger type of person so anger type of person is like a they just you know assume they don't want too many things happening and then if anything happening they immediately get anger so those people who needed to the anger to you know they need more like the love and compassion and then if you get the anger also the other part like a, if you get the anger it's just moment you think about where the anger came from, it can be switched. So that's the kind of people call the Bajra families in a, in a, in history. And then the other person comes then it's, a, you know, when you get the circle, circle man with the, the clockwise, then come with the Rakna, uh, Rakna Sambhava, which is the horse and then yellow colors. And then Rakna Sambhava is considered, considered to be, a. Uh, um, so horse, horse nat nature is like a, you need to, you know, it's like a horse nature is like a, even he sleep, he's standing up and they can run very fast. So idea is like a, those people are the people like always doing, 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 doing. They don't know how to relax and, you know, comfortable and sit in one place. And, you know, they're not like a meditative person. They want to always do, do, do things. Okay, I need to do, I need to do, I need to do. So those kind of things. And uh, those those kind of things are also, uh, they are, uh, they, they, uh, so they bring it that they're more like the uh, equalities, their, their wisdom is like, a, they're always making balancings to the everyone. And they are antidotes with the, proud like that I am you know this I do this I do this so those kind of things it has come to them so and the other part is the yellow colors yellow colors is considered to the earth elements earth elements it represents as the groundings in the lots of ways and then doing and we call the doing lots of things in you know into their realities and into the, their life so those People need to work on that, like uh, the compassion, the kindness, because it's uh, also the prideness is like a, it is also the, we call that as pr proud, prideness is more like a, the, uh, uh, you know, negative, we, we call poison basically in the Dharma world. So, and then to come with the, 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 the horse, like a running, running, then comes with like a, the Amitabha Buddha, which comes with the red, which is in the oh, the also the uh, sorry, uh, Rakna Sambhava, Rakna Sambhava family, it's called the Rakna, uh, Rakna um, Buddha family, Buddha family, Rakna family, it's called, 
and uh, those for those people also who are like uh, the more like uh, the decorative type like uh, the you know who want to wear the lots of jewels and the lots of things because the ratna is like a more like a jewel so that's what they they into and uh, they also want to have a perfect everything that is you know you don't want to just get everything in them you know so there's those type of people in the ratna family then Amitambha comes with the, the Amitambha is right with the, the peacock. Uh, peacock is like an Amitambha is in the right in the fire, in the other side. And then it is also, uh, uh, it's always like the Ratna family is always like a wanting, wanting, wanting. This is, they, they want so many things always. They, more than they can handle, they not release like, a, okay, I don't, I don't use it, this one, I just give up this one. They don't do that way. They're always collecting, collecting, collecting things. And then those personalities of those people is very sensitive. It's like a, it's come considered with the Padma family, Padma Buddha family. So they are more very sensitive and very, uh, what do you call it, like a soft and gentle type of people. So even like a fire energy there inside, but inside is a, so much fire energy. It is always a, the, the wanting, 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 but there's more like a calm and relaxing parts, people also there. So, and then the peacock is also the considered that like a, because of the soft, because for, for them, like a, no matter how many people like a crazy saying, like a bad thing say, or anything they say, they take it very easy. Because the the peacock is nature, they have like a, they can they can have a capacity to to take anything bad and the craziness and you know, so they take in and are making transformations. So that's just the, the considered peacock. Last one is the Amogachiti, which is called a karma karma family with the green connected to the nature, connected to the air elements, and so those people, those type of people is more like a, the Going into hiking and uh, walking through the nature, you know, those, those type of people, it's a come and that. And they have a very complete, uh, they very good into the, whatever they have a decision they made it. They, the accomplishment is always in there. And they go into the, uh, they, the, uh, the also the, they, they have a conscious mind, like they can see through with that as from the inner mind, like who is doing right, who is not doing right, who is doing it. And but other part is like those people, the type of type of people is the karma family who in the karma family, they are more jealousy type of people. So they get a jealous easily. So, so then like the, it's as the vehicle with the Garuda vehicle. So they can see from far away, they can smell from far away, they can feel from far away. That's how they have qualities. They can easily see that way. So that's the other part. Like, so those animals, when you think about those animals, what we needed for a life to be a happy way of living a life. So first you need to be center grounds as the lion. Second, you need to be cut through with you your all the fears, you know, like the, when you grow up in a West, especially in a West, like don't do this, don't do this. So all the fears you've been input in your minds and then you always want to do something, there's always fear. Oh, this will be cause of this problem, that problem, you know. So if you cut through the fear and move forward with dialogue, God continues moving what you do in moving. And when you do the moving continues that way, there will be obstacle may come like a poison snakes comes and poison things come. So be like a pickup. They, you need to be like a pickup. So be, be like a pickup means anybody you see, they will be love you. They will be connected with you. And then once you have a, the created that your, your, you know, practice with this, practice with this loving kindness, as soon as people see, so they not sending the negative energy for you. And once you have the negative energy for you, and then you can practice, so your consciousness builds like a bird. You know, they can see from far away, they can smell from far away. So that's why it's the, the five Buddha nature is, they created that way, is there will be the lots of craziness is there in the, in the human nature, but that is the part of the Buddha nature. So Buddha nature is like a, anything is bad thing happening, it is the wisdom. 
you take as a wisdom. Yeah, that's great things. There's a bad thing happening. Wow. You know, you can rejoice and enjoy with that way. Then you are in the Buddha nature. But if you are jealous, if you have a pride, if you have a, you know, crazy things happening, then you're not learning the Buddha nature. So Buddha nature, to get away from those and uh, fully understanding and embodiment those, those poisons, the negative, uh, negative into body and make it that, you know, we call it rejoice with that, all the negativeness, then you are in the Buddha nature. So those are the simple way of understanding the, the five Buddhas. So based on animal, based on the color, then, you know, the air color is considered to the nature the, because of the green. And then the, the water color is like a balancing with the, the old, you know. So that's that's where they divide. And then as I say, that is in, a, in the east, west, north, south, they never mistake that as, you know, the Achave Buddha always in the east. And then Ratna, uh, Ratna Sambhavas are always in the south, you know. The, the uh, Amitama are always in the west, and then Nert always in the Amu city. So that's always in that part. Yeah. Well, are the five wisdom Buddhas represented in dance? And then does the dance help us embody or work to transform the emotions? Yeah, that's the whole idea. It's about uh, the, in a dance, like at a, once you learn yourself, self, self with that way, and then you, you know everybody have the all different nature in a little bit. You know, you cannot say that oh I don't have a jealousy, I don't have a pride, I don't know. Everybody have that pride and jealousy, but one is more strong, and so you embrace that ways and then it's just dancing is like a wow i understand this part i deeply understanding and then make the transformations transformation that is about the dance dance is like a taking embodiment of the all the qualities and I take that the qualities of every every aspect of the life and making that a buddha nature which means transformations that is about the dance so we have a to you know, up Charya dance with a 500 years old. It's written in a Nepal Samba, 600, 600 Nepal Samba. That is means we have a 1145 right now. So 545 years old song we doing dancing in the Charya dance. And that the Charya dance also same thing like they have a vehicle been mentioned, east west been mentioned, and then also the wisdoms is been mentioned. Sugata Sumarana or Atam. So with the Sugata Sumarana, which remembers all the Buddha nature, which is explored to the world. That's why it's, it's a reference in the, into the five Buddhas dance. Can you share a little bit about the mudras, what a mudra is, and any mudras related to the five Buddhas in dance? Yeah, simple way of understanding the mudra is like, you know, first Buddha has come with, the, we call the Amitabha Buddha, with the sittings and the meditating, you know. Amitabha Buddha, so, and then the, the history is so that way, it's like a, when the Buddhas came with the, the meditation, he doesn't get enlightened. And uh, when the, he was sitting for so long, so he forget himself, like uh, who he is. Then, then there's a Mara comes, then a temptation comes, like, hey, Buddha, what are you doing here? Get up here, to get, get out, you're going to be die soon, like, uh, if you don't get up. Like, and then he just wonder, oh, who I am? So he, they say that I see he touched the ground and a Vumi person mudra comes here. So that's more, more into the, any temple you, you go see those days, you will see that the art touching Buddha only mostly. This is also Sakyamuni Buddha, but also the Achyavi Buddha in the other side, in the blue in color, but it is considered to the Sakyamuni Buddha. So that's we call a victorious Buddha or Vumi person mudra. And after that, he's a victory. So First things is like he was teaching into the Dharma Chakra Mudra with his, you know, will of life or the or full noble truth. They all teaching come from this mudra. So this is circle the life of this, the human being, that basically. And then he was, you know, going through out in the world, like a, he see as enlightened, he see like all being suffering. So he walked with the, the Abhay Mudra, with mean blessing mudra to liberate from the suffering. So he walked with this way. But then he see that always, well, my blessing doesn't work for everybody. So he tried to give an infinite way of giving, you know, always giving with this, the Abhay Mudra. So those are the five Buddha, Dhani Mudra, they call. 
and then the history come that way. But Pai Buddha doesn't matching that how that circle in this part. But the simple way is like a, you know, is Buddha Buddha Pai Buddha's Danny pose have something that a wisdoms to give, and those are the things. It is not just made up. It's in the Buddha nature is like a, in a moment it's a rise and that it is the true mudra is that it's a true the expression is you know he was thinking that he want to go to walk somewhere else and he see all the sins and been been suffering so he used this gesture to walk around you know that's why it's in a in the Buddha in a, in a dance tradition like that we talk about a mudra mudra is like a, nobody create the mudra mudra is just naturally appearings into the require how the required needed there that's mudra is appear self so and then and then there is also like a you know in a dance part they also have like a, the lion mudras in a pickup mudras you know so we have a connecting with those animals so you can embodiment so you can take away to your your thought and minds and whatever you are in the present in the present body you are the, the gentle way, the simple way of saying that, oh, I'm a human being. Forget about that too. You also, as a human being, you also connect to the nature and you know, connect to the all sense and being. You are part of that sense and being too. So become that way and it's, make, it's give you a lot of wisdom. So we also take it that as the wisdom in the dance part. So dance have a specifically start with the, the East always. So that was the East Buddha with the Achobe Buddha. And then they took and end it with the Bhairochana, uh, Bhairochana Buddha. So, so I can share with the dance part if you want. So, uh, there's also the other part. I have also the we had a simple way of sharing Buddha nature. So, if you look into here, this is also dance part with the slokas, Madde Bhairochana. So, when we come to the point like a Madde means a center. That's why we do the gesture like this, Madde Bhairochana. Sweta Barna. Sweta Barna means that the white in color. White in color is soft and gentle. That's also emotions difference in the color. Red is like a fire's colors, you know, making the fire movements. And uh, blue is like a serene, you know, it's like the sky in the infinite ways. You know. the, the yellow color is like a sunlight, you know, lightning powers, you know. So emotion is a change in the, each colors, that also part. And artisan jnana, so artisan jnana is like a, I have un, understandings, my mind is like completely, completely, whatever it takes is completely understanding, clear understanding this part. So, and then the beast, like the, the what is called, dvesa. Dvesa is, a, dvesa is like a ignorance, like a confused, you know, emotions are different here. And Buddha Parivara, Buddha's family is like a, so you know. So mudra is the moving in that direction. So, so if you look into that, everything's but it's under five Buddhas. In each slokas have a each Buddha indicated into a. Uh, there's also the Subhisuddha Dharma Dharma Jnana, Arasana Jnana. There is also the Sanskrit Samanta Jnana, uh, Pretty Bechana Jnana, and then Krityanusthan Jnana. There's also the and uh, what family is there? So you can also see that this is in a Buddha family, Karma family, uh, Bajra, Bajra families here, and uh, Ratna family. So they all indicated in this part too. So basically, when you do the dance, you know, slow, this is sloka is very softly chanting like a Made Bhairochana. Sweta Barna Sihasana Ka Adarsana Jnana Bibusana Moha Bisa Buddha Parivara So they just, you know, the, the, the we call that uh, um, the moha is the uh, beast means poison basically that is in the buddha family so you take the moha is the ignorance and now take it out uh, you know if you can take it out then you became a buddha family so that's where it's mudra goes but also we have a 
dense is that as i say that we have a 600 years old 645 years old dense we have sorry I should be putting that into and please if you have time to sing more of those shlokas and sure. do, uh, I can do that. These, uh, movements and gestures that'd be wonderful all these i will uh let's get the five buddhas where is the five buddha Mm, yeah, let's just... Mm, mm, where is my... Oh, mm. Should we take it out this way? So one chart with, as you were saying, the vehicles, Vahan, the color... Yeah. Mm -hmm. the let me pull out as well. The, the, uh, uh. If I put this using here, so so yeah, so this here, Nila Barna Achobe, Nila Barna Achobe. Purva, so we also keep a direction. Anytime we do day dance, we always purva means front always. So that's what we're making. Pur, purpa dwara dir diras is the elephant. So we make it the elephant and stita. So on the on the uh, sitting on the uh, elephant. That's what we say there. And so subi suda dharma dhatu is like a mirror is like a, the knowledge. Mirror like a, the complete knowledge the, in the minds. And a dharma dhatu is like a, the subi suddha dharma dhatu jnana. So dharma dhatu is also the other part, which is like a deep into the inner inner awakenings knowledge. That's what. So we can sometimes like a, it's a many different ways of doing that. So sometimes like we dip into the and bring that knowledge, and it's a dharma dhatu from the wisdom tradition to so the manjushri. Also we can take it that so. And the Buddha Bajra Pariwara. So Bajra Pariwara is like the families and then the role, you know. And Dwesa, Dwesa is anger. So we're making angers. That is, you know, anger, karma, nyasa. So that's, the, that's me, also you can say, that's my the nature. So those, you know, mudra is like a, it's a language. So you, you make it in a different ways. That's what's possible. So. Subi Sudha Dharma Dhatu Jnana Buddha Pariwara Dvesa Karma Nyasa Dachi Nana Ratna Sambhava Pita Barna Turanga Sana So elephants, uh, the horse ridings we make in the horse riding as this way. Raga is the desire and you know, the appearings with the jewels. Pariwara, Samantha, equal equalities with the knowledge and a dehagre, the giving to the arms. So, Raga Utpanna Ratna Pariwara Samantha Jnana Dehagre So, Amitambha Ratna Amitambha Ratna Ratna Barna Mayurasana Pachima Dware So, the, the, so west, west the doorways, and there. So uh, the pretty uh, wisdoms with the discriminations, no discrimination. The with the pretty base and Jnana Rupi Padma Pariwara. Like a desire, it's like a each had the visa dharanam. That's it. I have that, which is this is the desire I have in that. So, utare amogasiddhi 
Harita with nature. Harita Barna Garuda. So we're making that Garuda for forward and uh, asana. And uh, completing like uh, anything you do with a complete, 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 uh, with, wisdom completing like uh, as a bless. Uh, uh, karma families like uh, the comfort, like uh, taking actions, like uh, anything you need to be in actions that is, you know, the families and you know, jealousies like uh, you just like a uh, mm, looking like a. Uh, you know, so the problem, that's the problem. That's I have a problem with the jealousy. So you saw that a jealousy pride. So yeah, this is, this is you know just simple way of how emotions can transform within Buddha and emotions. So that's why we do make this dance. So and the five Buddha dance is you know is this Yeah, I made it in a color so uh, people can easily see this one. So let's have a completely different melody. They call Lalita, Lalita, which is Jati Tala. Timing is a seven beat. So, this dua means it's a repeat so so this is the whole dance so this is you know all the buddhas five buddhas and the end is basically it's have a returns with the gagana bindu Kumara Bhadana. This is the secret way of writing the dead uh, Gita Granthita when it is written there, Gita Granthita Kusuma Mala, name of the person who wrote that way. And uh, Namami Sri Dharma Dhatu for I bow to the. So um, let's see how to keep that. Okay. Uh, so a simple way of dancing like a Otoshiku is like a, it's a soft and gentle rise like the flowers. Uh, Kusuma. Uh, Tashiku Kusuma Sankasa Deha, smelling is like everywhere. That's I have in my body, who's I'm facing to the, the east. <coughs> That's my body. And the three, Dirastasanam, so with the elephant's ridings. And Dura, like the, from far away, and it, you know, far away, Dura Dantaka, any obstacle, any things comes with the fears and that. But like a completely transforming, completely destroying. And uh, Namami Sri Achabe Murti. So Achabe, take a pose with Achabe Buddha. And Sugata Sumarana. So uh, uh -huh, Sugata is like a memories of the Buddha nature. Sugata Sumarana with the insight, with the wisdom. Mohoratram, it's, it's exploring everywhere, having everywhere in the planet. So Barada, Barada is a blessing. Barada Krita Nara Lohoke some all sins in me. Moche liberations. Moche Banchita all the human beings. Manchita Swami Divine One. Swami Sarana Ratna Sri that's a jewel. That's a splendid one. So Dachina Mukha Sri Ratna Sambhava Bibhava Sampada Dahayekam Aha Udita Subarna Sankasa Deha Namami Sri Turanga Bahana Aha Sugata Sumarana Moratam Naba Udita Rabi Kirana Deha Yoga Muru 
te dharitan ahamoyura bahana dhyana muroti namami sri ami taham bhava aha sugata sumarana mohoratam sata phani maye alankrita harita barna be rajitam aha utara mukha sri amoga sihide namami sri garuda bahana aha sugata sumarana mohoratam indu kum e e indu kumuda bikasa deha tridasa bhuvan prati pahalitam aha siha bahana dhyana murti namami sri bai rochana aha sugata sumarana mahoratam and the last one is the actually date it's been written date in the backward so that the old old text always written in the backward gagana is the sky is a zero bindu is a drop it's a zero kumara is like according to tradition we have a six uh, six kumaras consider that uh, ban badana badana six kumaras it's six uh, the face is there and barsara is a rainy time Sri Nepalita, it's in the Nepala. So, so basically, like a, we keep it Gagana Bindu Kumara Badana Bansara Sri Nepalitam Aha Gita Grantita Kusuma Mahala Namami Sri Dharma Dhatu Saharanam uh -huh, so that's the that's what we know about is in the nepal time it's 600 years before this in the when it was raining time this song has been written and then written by the kulisa 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 mala which is homage to the dharma dhatu so it's homage to the dharma dhatus because five buddhas are considered into the dharma dhatu so yeah that's where it goes so it is i don't know uh where else i can explain here so word and a chart where you brought all of these together directions colors emotion or klesha would you like to go into that chart and share any loose ends or topics? Well, chart, if you have it the chart it's, it's easy easy to who are the who are five buddhas where does five buddhas how is that five buddhas so you can easily see that so family color directions elements wisdoms poisons the mudra what is they call that a dharma chakra mudra teaching mudra symbol what is the symbols in a symbolic way vehicles chakras and symbols what is the mantras? They also have a Wong Hun Trang Ning, oh, that's a five syllable mantras also there. And then also they have a offerings, uh, uh, offering center goddesses, you see here too. That's the same one, I think. Oh, okay, this is the same one. Let me... uh, well, can I ask two, uh, some questions about two of these? Huh? Sure. One, sometimes we see the mantra and the mudra a little different. Uh, without the image, Om Hung Trang Hri A. So this is the one taught in commonly in Newar Buddhism. Yes, this is our very much into Newar Buddhism. So, Any relation to the chakras? If you were doing a yeah, visualization of sadhana, it's a little bit different than Tibetan chakras. So we have a start with the, always in the white chakras and the in the sixty-four panels in the top one. So that is the womb, and hung is a throat chakra, it's blue, 
So that's connected to the five Buddhas one. Right it in the, uh, with the yellow is in the heart, and then the novels is the right, and then the, the green is the sacred part, which that's the goals. So. It's very helpful. Can, without the chart up, I noticed that there was a style in which you did Abhaya Mudra and the Dharma Chakra. Mm -hmm. Can you show those so that we can see them? Perhaps we can take the chart down so uh, we can see you more full screen. That's amazing. So is it so that, is it in dance? When you do Abhaya, is the pinky out a little bit more stylistically? Oh, basically, or Basically like the, you, how you walk and then you just keep it, you know, Blessing Mudra. So we don't make it that as like, the, you know, the how it is that it is. So in the Nyawa Buddhist Mudra tradition is like, a, you don't force this to anything. It's nature. It's have to be connected to nature. So it just comes in the nature way. And then, you know, also the other parts like a giving, you know, simple. Right. We don't do it straight, like at some tra tradition, like at the straight. We don't do it straight. So always how you walk. So that's why it goes. And here, Dharma Chakra. So, Dharma Chakra is a wheel. Some, you know, old traditions, that you will find this way, Dharma Chakra. So, uh -huh. old, you know, century back. Now people are using this one. It's a wisdom. This is the wisdom gesture. So, they're getting together with the wisdoms and they're creating the wheels with the wisdom. So. Thank you so much. Are there more uh, details on this chart you would go over? Anything last? Uh which I'm going to mention to you about, uh, so let's see, uh, this chart, I want to get a share with this one, the colorful one, I should get more colorful one. Right? So, uh, for instance, we went to mudra and we went symbols, symbol we haven't gone to the chakras and the wheels because in a symbolic vehicle we went, crowns, okay, yeah, third eye, so the chakras, throat, heart, the novels, and the base. That's we usually, you know, if you come to the my sadhana practice, so we do all the chakras, awakening the chakras, awakening the senses, awakening the uh, nyasas in a different part of the body. That's every Wednesday we do the, those practice. So you will see that the vibrations we creating, the sounds and vibration, we sending that to the vibration and then illuminate that vibrations into a certain part. So yeah, based on this chart, start, I usually have everything here. So also, you know, antidote with the year, vehicle there, under the wisdom is a part. Yeah, mirrors, look at this, with all complement accents. Yeah, karma family. That's a, that's a simple way, you know. Pratham, where do we find these five Buddhas in sadhana or ritual or in the temple culture? I heard in Nepal, uh, we also find temples, uh, structures related to the five Buddha family. Yeah, five Buddhas is everywhere in Nepal. If you go to Nepal, like I start with the Swambu, start with the Bodhanath, you know, that's the oldest, oldest temple. So based on the five Buddhas, basically. So, and then... There's a lot of you know chantings and prayings and this uh, the, the bhajans and all the lots of things about the uh, five Buddhas thing there in Nepal. At but, the temple in Portland, do you have according to the directions the? Yeah, we have a stupa according to that. So it's, stupa is construction. It's based on that, and then it's uh, the temple itself as the we call the Dharma Dharma Mandala. So we also buried with the drawing the five buddhas inside the uh, ground we buried all the buddhas and buddhas and four taras also so and in the grounds yeah all the grounds yeah we have a nine different uh, inner circle they call inner circle is like a five buddhas and the four taras uh it's been as a vessel they we bury it down so, so. That's making the, so Dharma Dhatu and Bajra Dhatu. So Bajra Dhatu is like the only five Buddhas. If you call the Dharma Dhatu, it's also come with the concert, with the, you know, the four Tadas, basically, so. And then if we can, perhaps we can bring this down. I have a last question for you. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, 
framework for understanding the wisdoms. The, tell us a little bit about what is Buddha nature and um, anything else about how we can bring this wisdom and the five Buddhas or the relationship between oh, Buddha nature into simple, our own. Simple way of understanding, we are in a Buddha nature. You have an angry, you have a Buddha nature, you have a the understanding everything that's also good nature you good good and bad both is a good nature that's what we need to understand but only the bad things is happening over and over so finding the bad things and the, the transforms the bad thing with the you know as i say like the, for the flop the coins like as soon as you know you get anger as soon as you know you get a jealousy as soon as you know you got a the pride you know just to recognizing that second you recognize oh i'm getting anger just recognize pause per second it's making fast difference so we do have all you know qualities that's what i'm saying that as well we do have all the but certain people have a certain qualities only and those people are specific like the, as i say like a buddha family you know you have an understanding everything's everything you want to know everything but in the world when you come to the point there's no way to understand everything's in this planet you know what do you know about this plants how many plants in the in the world you know how many the trees and how many flowers in the world how many you know there's no way to understand everything so but you the idea is like you have that's with you are the ignorance so you want to know everything that not there's no way to understand everything so that's ignorant part. If you just click that way, yeah, I'm satisfied what I got it. I'm happy with that way. Then it's move forward. Like I have to know, I have to know, but there's no way to know everything there. So that's the that's the key point. That's why we do have everybody's, you know, the Buddha nature, everybody have a Buddha nature within themselves. But some people get uh, obsessed with that way. It's like, hey, I want this way I want. No, then nothing's end with the world, with the, with the, any crazy things are happening in the world, you know. Everything's okay. Just take it easy and make it that manifestation happening, you know. So if we, we can do it in the practical realities, which is, you know, as I say, those are the, the angers, hatred, and the, what do you call the uh, jealousy, pride, and, and desires, and jealous, you know, those kind of things, like a, it's all a human body habit. But once you have it and then don't stuck with that way, I what I say that is only right, you know. There's no such a things in the planet, which is that's only the right way, you know. If you come to religious like uh, some people does in a different way, some people does in a different way, there's no such a things there. But if you have confidence, follow your path and carry on that path, but don't be like a strong like this is the way it is, you know. Sometimes like uh, this is the way it is, like uh, it doesn't make blame to everybody so buddha nature is like embracing everyone see some people does in a different way it's okay to do it you know it's not like a it's a bad bad things but if you're harming other people if you are creating the problem with other people then it's only the problem there but if you're doing good things and it's making create wonderful things then it's a great way to go yeah you have a different little bit different tradition it's okay to move you know, other side, like, you know, 84,000 sutras of the Buddha, Buddha nature. So we need to move on that part. So that's the sort of part. Yeah. Prajwa, thank you again. You have such a way of bringing Buddhist wisdom to life. And also we love uh, studying with you, dance. So we hope uh, some Dance is a key to embodiment, you know, like, uh, let's say, like, uh, if you are embody with the like the full noble truth your emotions and expressions you know so so then it's a stay in the body you know in a dance like that you say like that you know okay there's the sufferings comes you know there's a suffering to see in the suffering suffering to cut to suffering to realizations you know awakening part so you know the mudras then mudras like that if you you know sometimes like a word can be forget that is what it say you know but if you have a mudra, it's like a expression is there within your body. And so you can easily remember those, those things and it's stuck into the brain, it's stuck into the body. 
So that's what's in the book. In the this newer Buddhist tradition, with the distance is like a wisdoms. You can embody the wisdom and then share the wisdoms through with the, the body gesture. Not only intellectual, not only word, not only vibration, but you can share with the, the full of emotions in the in in the body. So how with, about a little bit more about the four noble truths you did uh, suffering. Yeah, uh, suffering. We just take it like okay, life is suffering. This my body is a suffering. There's a way to understanding like a, there's a way to understanding the suffering. This is like a simple way is the mudra, and there is weakening the suffering or the you know cut. There's a cut through with the suffering. So sufferings you can cut through with that way. And some people say that it's awakenings like a, in in mind you need to wake up that sufferings. You know where it is come from. You know. So you do gesture with that way, and then you, you know, in dance part like you, you have to remember the word, you have to remember the mudras to express that way. Otherwise, like what is suffering that is, you know, oh, it doesn't come with that way. So you memorize the suffering means you internally feel like, a, you know, is emotions, is it's a, very suffering way. Oh, I'm happy. I'm suffering. You cannot do that way, you know. So you need to embodiment means like a yes, sad, you know. And then it's like a, oh, I'm awakening. I'm awakening that. I'm understanding suffering a little bit. Yeah, that's make a sense, you know. It's make a difference in the body gesture with that. So, so that you know, mudra is the language. Mudra is the body body language, so it can transform that, you know. So we have all the the words in the the Buddha teachings. The Buddha teaching we also have the mudras for those, you know, in a body language in there too. So it's like a you know sand language. It means the simple way of sand language. The dancing is the sand language. So you express with the body. Well, we hope we can do a follow-up interview on the uh, Buddhist understanding of Four Noble Truths. The twelve uh, independent arising arisings, you know, those kind of things. So, yeah. So, for those who are following on YouTube and listening, we will put the uh, website on the show notes and. Uh, Anything coming up? Hopefully, we can study with you in person in 2025. Yeah, or online, online, some online class. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So although you know, we have also the hold we call that as in the Prajnaparamita Sutras. You know, when you think about Prajnaparamita Sutra, we have a, like a eight thousand verses, you know, but in a concise form, in a you know, two pages one. So we have a dance on based on that every single thing you can see and. Uh, religious and needed to be in the in the emptiness you know it's on the dance too so you can easily dance very easily you can dance so yeah and you're you're performing that or teaching that uh online so we do lots of performance here so yeah the performance also teaching that too yeah so uh the viewers please follow up we'll put the uh, yeah. website in the show notes and Prajwal, thank you so much again. This has been so uh, enlightening and helpful, inspiring. Thank you. Yeah, great, great. Okay, we'll see. We'll keep.